Hello, viewers, friends, whatever, and welcome back to- Hey, where all my Dynatheriums go? Hmm. Well, actually, I'll tell you where they went in just a second. Uh, you'll notice that we've got out here one significantly higher level than the previous level we were at last time uh, on the last episode. Uh, I don't know if we even showed them in the last episode. I think we might have. Well, anyway, I think we were at 232 or something last time. Now we're at 240. I'm going to show you how we got there so fast when these guys take 10 million years to get anything done with them. No offense. No offense, fam. You are absolutely stunningly gorgeous, but... Uh, yeah, no. You, Jesus. There are tortoises that laugh at how slow you guys are to get anything done. Um, you'll also notice in here that my Acrocanthosaurus are all gone. Other than their, like, uh, drop bags. Uh, and you'll also notice we have a Tep Replicator. I have been busy over this weekend, uh, over the course of the last three, four days. Just grinding resources, grinding out all the farmable element, and then farming it again. Um, I also went ahead and moved most of my storage, all, like, most of my storage and all my crafting items all back in here. So it's just every, uh, oh wow, lag spike. So that everything's nice and organized and, you know, just all in one place and it's all back here where it can be safer. You know, I finally built a fridge. So the uh, old, um, whatever they're called, the, um, thing that uses spark powder, the, um, preserving bin became unnecessary. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so, uh, all things being equal, you know, we're doing pretty good in here. We're doing pretty good. Um, wait, hold up a minute. Did that say a day? Uh, second minute, hour, really? Uh, Ark, uh, you are aware that cooked meat in a refrigerator can stay good for as long as a week, right? I mean... Probably not going to be all that tasty after a week, but you could still eat it just fine. All right, oh, we're getting off topic. I digress. We will get to the subject of today's video in just a second. But first, I want to show off all of this stuff I've been making and farming and getting done. Okay, I got our beer barrel in here. Obviously, most important aspect of this entire operation. Can't, can't do this without it. Uh, second most important thing here is the tech replicator. And yeah, I, could, uh, I can stare at that spinny thingy for hours. My only question about the tech replicator is, where's the interface that you use to, to, like, interact with it? Because, like, it doesn't look like there is one. So how do you... Like, I know for the sake of the game, you press e, you press F or something to just get into its inventory like so. Um, you can see here, I've been busy farming quite a bit of element. Uh, that's also a combination of the element that we've got from killing bosses and mini-bosses. And you can see here, I've got element shards. I've been busy. I also made a set of some set some tech armor, and then I was very, very salty to discover that no, you cannot put skins on it, or at least not the Viking skins. Man, that that made me upset. That made me the big upset. I also made uh oop, that's the wrong button. Also made uh this, the tech canteen. <clears throat> Holds three times the water of a standard canteen. Can cool the water for extra refreshment. Why is my water glowing blue? I don't think that should be happening, but we're not going to talk about it. Um, you know, chemistry bents is here. Everything's here. But now I've got this thing. This thing that looks... Uh, how, how would I describe how this thing looks? I mean, I, I guess it looks... I guess it looks like it could be some sort of um, tech gym structure, <laughs> honestly. This is the S Plus Propagator. I've been playing around with this. Um, I didn't record it, but I actually got a hilarious when I was testing it, because I figured, hey, maybe I can do this with the Domination Rexes and save myself some trouble of going out and farming artifacts again and alphas. Turns out, yes, you absolutely can use this to make these creatures. Uh, and hilariously, I got a mutation that you can't even see because they don't have any color regions. So, anyway... <clears throat> But yeah, we have two new Indominus or two new Domination Rexes. Um, this is the new Boss Army folder. But these particular acros here are out of date compared to these right here. Uh, and we're gonna go into that right now. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer, but anyway. Um, okay, what are you? 
You are 4 HP. Okay. So if you've ever used the S plus propagator, you know what's about to happen. And uh, I, I fiddled with it to figure out how to get it to work because the main draw of it was that you can change genders on creatures. I was hoping you could do that permanently, but no, you cannot. All right, that's just fine. You can see I've got even more element here. I got to tell you, the amount of time I spent farming element, we're not, it's not worth knowing. <laughs> too long. It's been too long. Okay. Now, if this, now I don't have a, if this acro right here was female and still had the mutation that I wanted, that wouldn't be a problem for me. And the reason why it wouldn't is because I can go here to start breeding and I can actually change this to female or male. Any one of these can become the male for the purposes of breeding. Um, this only works with creatures in cryopods or in my case, in soul balls. <clears throat> So, without further ado, let's get to it. We got Moot Pulse, that's Mutation Pulse, same as uh, the S Plus Mutator, although instead of an Area of Effect Pulse that costs Element, this is one Element per Mutation, and I will spend that Element because of the fact that we have hit the point where, as you can see uh, over here, we, are, we have 20 Mutations on the male side of the family, which means that all chances of getting Mutations are now halved. Therefore, it is a worthy investment of element for me to start doing this. At least for some. Not all, but some of them. I will do it for all of them because we're going to show this off, even though this is bloody expensive. And it costs you one element every time they breed, so keep an eye on it. And basically, this is the same thing we were doing outside, just faster and in a more controlled space. And I gotta say, I'm that's the part I'm most happy about. Clearing out the Dinotherium and the Acro so that we could do this. Oh, God. I can see my game is not lagging as much as it was. You know, things seem to be working a little bit better, and I just feel better knowing that there's negative space now. <clears throat> negative space, in my opinion, is a very underrated concept. All right, start breeding. And uh, we're just going to sit here and let them do their thing. We can view the progress. You can see they're mating, and it's costing an element each, and there's like 28 of these things. So, uh, oof. And you can see it actually makes a little 3D hologram of them, and I really like that. That's really cool. <clears throat> and, uh, over here, we have the mating females of the Dinotherium. Now, they're in here, and, uh, when these guys are finished, and when they're, and when the next one, I believe the Dinotherium outside is a female, so that's a better example of this. Uh, costs one element to change their gender to male for the purposes of this breeding. If you take them out of the machine, they go back to being what gender they naturally were. I'm not going to question how that works. That's not important. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoy this video, uh, go ahead, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And as to what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to attempt to hunt down and destroy some Gigas. I don't know if we'll find any, and if we don't, that's okay. I've got another, ba I've got a backup plan. But uh, I really wanted to try it, see if we could find some. Maybe get those Giga Hearts to get ready for the dragon fight. Because that I would like to get done sooner rather than later. Now that we can get, now we, we can finish off the original boss army that I had in mind much more quickly. And yes, you can. You can finish it more quickly, but it's worth noting that the reason we have that Dinotherium outside is that the creature must still be eligible for breeding in the first place, which means that it has to be an adult before you can breed it. So I still have to spend the however many hours it is letting the Dinotherium grow. And that, in my opinion, is why this isn't overpowered. I mean, it, it is. It, it really is, honestly, but... Um, not so much so that I'm not going to use it, and it's just going to make my life oh so much easier. Like, yes, please. Honestly, I wasn't going to do tech for this playthrough, but I'm so glad I decided to. Because it's just going to make everything better. Now, hopefully we'll get the mutation we want. What I'm hoping for is we get more melee. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and if we don't, that's okay. Just let them keep doing it until they get it. Okay, oh, we got it. Perfect. Now, unfortunately, it looks like we've also lost the color that I would like to have, but that's okay. And it's a female. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, make sure we didn't get another one somewhere. Okay, we've got two with a melee mutation, actually. Both are female, but both will work. 
At least I believe they both... Yeah, they both are level 274, so these will both do. So what are we going to do with that? Well, we're going to hit stop breeding, first of all, so I don't spend more element. This is so expensive. God. Ay, ay, ay. Um, and unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to take these guys out. We're going to have to come back for the eggs. And this is the part where I'm going to pause the video, take care of all this technical stuff, and then... Uh, we're gonna hatch these hatch this baby and get the hell out of here <laughs> So I will see you guys in a sec Hello, we are back once again, and it is time to hatch those baby eggs before we head out So here they are and yes here. We've got both lines of parents from the Dinotheriums and the uh, and the um, Acrocanthosaurus uh, so in either case, either one of these is exactly the same. They're the same level, they're what they need me, they're what I need them to be, and they both will have now 18 melee mutations, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. And in order to check that, let's see here. Yes, indeed, they will. Alright, as you can see, that plus two and seventy-seven. So their stats are looking pretty nice nice. Uh I gotta tell you though. Uh, I'm probably not gonna go beyond 20 and 20 at least for bo these boss creatures. I may keep free I may keep doing mutations with them afterwards just for fun but yeah beyond this we're like once we hit 2020 that's when I'm gonna go hard with the boss like the boss acros um, and all that good stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these in organic stuffs in this folder where so that I could just go ahead and do this. So all of these creatures have now been transported back into the proper file. Now I can take these out. And uh, let's see what they look like since we're in here in the light and it is nighttime outside. Okay. Actually, not bad. I don't know what the hell the color on this one is supposed to be. They both do have a visible color, but this one... Like, this one right here has that, like, a nice icy blue similar to the one of the original male that we got, but I think this is a little bit, a little softer on the blue, and it's, like, it, it's the blue on the side of his neck and down underneath. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not, like, I don't know. I just really enjoy it. Like, I really, like, oh, here we go. That's what this color is. It's the dark blue on the crest down the back. Okay. Okay. See, I'm not sure what I want the final color to be, and in truth, I don't really care. So, and these are both females, so what am I going to do? Well, I'm just going to pick either, I'm just going to, I'm just going to grow either one of, the, grow both of them, and we'll figure that out later, because both of them will need to reach full size. So we're going to go out here and throw them out with the, uh, baby, with the, with the baby dino theorem. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a very real chance these guys will be grown and ready to breed again before that dino theorem is fully grown which is equal parts hilarious and good because it means that I can get more of this stuff done. Ugh, welcome back to an early morning, and, uh, yeah, you can see luck smiles on me one more, once more. We actually have a gorgeous low-level Giga right there. I really wish that was high-level because I love that, like, blackish, you know, that burnt ashen gray black and then the reddish, uh, uh reddish, uh, leopard pattern. That looks really good. I really like that. That is, like... I always wanted that, like a black, like a bl like a Giga that was black with markings like that on it, or like a, you know, something like black and yellow or something like that, you know. But uh, we don't get everything we want, and this thing is actually the perfect level that I don't have to feel any any qualms about doing this. Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on, hit me! Come on, buddy. What you got? Uh, if he does connect, this is gonna suck. <laughs> I also have to be careful not to uh, clip myself off my mount. Oh, and yep, he hit me. Yeah, as you can see there, he does the bleed, the damage over time, similar to a Thyla's bleed effect. Um, okay, buddy, what's your health at? Jesus. <laughs> I sometimes forget that Wild Gigas, even low-level ones, actually have a very, very high health bar. 
<laughs> Man, this is like Betty Hill be more the into chasing me in circles. Uh, I, I do feel a little guilty. The colors on this thing are absolutely stunning. But yeah, no. I need Giga Heart, so I'm sorry, friend. Truly. Just know that your sacrifice will further me. <laughs> I was gonna say further humanity, but that's that's absolutely not true. This is honestly unfair. This Giga can't do anything. Well, okay, now he can, because I'm stuck in him. Okay, seriously, dude. Well, you're gonna be dead before I am, so get fucked. <laughs> Yeah, he did me a lot of damage because I got clipped inside him because Arc Physics uh, just doesn't care about reality at all. That's alright because uh, I will heal that off fairly quickly. And that's why I think Desmodus is actually a really solid Giga Killer if you can get a good one. And there's our first Giga Heart. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we will need two more for the Alpha Dragon. So, uh, let the hunt continue. Hello and welcome back. Um you'll notice that there is not a Giga present in this particular area, and this is sort of the same general area where we found the one that we ended up taming a few episodes back. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show you, especially on single player, what you want to do if you don't want to Dino White, but you want to try and, like, sort of work with the spawns, because I figured this is a great opportunity. I don't expect it to work right away, but, um... You know, hopefully we can get something to happen, and what I'll do is, uh, in between then and now, I'll take us to the other place where I know that they spawn. I haven't seen one there myself yet, but, um, you can be pretty sure that they do appear there. So we'll do exactly the same thing there. Uh, and basically what I'm about to do is go on an absolute, uh, an absolute rampage. And what better creature to do, to do that while hunting Gigas than, you guessed it, another Giga. Um, okay, we're gonna organize this all correctly here. This is technically organic stuff. That has got to be one gooey... Ugh, man, that's... I'm just carrying that in my pocket? Damn. I don't, I don't think that's... I don't think that's sanitary at all. Alright, and now prepare to meet, uh... Skrimsla... Drotningu... I can't pronounce that. But apparently in um, Icelandic, it translates to Monster Queen, so I thought that was fitting, considering uh, Mei Yin called her Giga the Demon King. and But this one is female. And an R Giga, so I figured, eh, Monster Queen's better. And since this is the Viking-themed game, I figured, let's pick the living language that is closest to Old Norse. Apparently that is Icelandic. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. But uh, that is what Dr. Google says. In any event, um... You can see I've given her some levels. All of them into melee, of course. You don't ever level anything besides melee on a Giga. Uh, after all the nerfs. Sad face. And basically what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and kill literally everything. Like, everything must die. And what I'm do basically doing is I'm hopefully clearing the spawns and opening things up. And that may get the uh, creatures that rarely spawn often end up kind of lost in the queue, so to speak. So what you want to do is you want to just go around and kill things so that new availability uh, comes up. I'm not going to do all this on camera, but I'll do most of it. Is to just go around, look for anything that's here, and just start, start just going crazy. And I chose the Giga because, uh, well, yeah, what the only thing I have to fear while riding a Giga is another more powerful Giga. Which is literally every wild Giga, so, um, yikes if one does appear. Uh, I'm gonna make a beeline and get out of there, but. <laughs> yeah, Tame Giga is not a wise matchup against a wild Giga because the bleed effect that wild Gigas do that tame ones do not will usually count compensate for any, um... Like, technically speaking, I bet my damage that I output with this one is higher by base. But since the only thing I have is base damage, the Giga, the Wild Giga's bleed effect, plus its higher health pool, will more than make up for that. Like, uh, 9 times out of 10, a Wild Giga will defeat a tamed one. Now, an imprinted and mutated one, on the other hand, is a different story. That 
That is a much more fair fight, but um, that requires a good saddle. But again, there is no real defense against that bleed that they do. Yeah, and like I said, we're just gonna... Wow, there is a surprising lack of creatures in this area. Interesting. I've cleared it out at several times prior to this episode, but not recently. Not that recently. You can see, I'm not running on this thing either. It's it's pretty fast, even with its base walk speed. Um, also, real quick, uh, man, hopefully we find some other stuff to kill. Jesus. And yeah, the Giga can spawn. Normally, they spawn around that mountain is their exact spawn point. That mountain we were just at. Uh, but they wander pretty far, which is why I couldn't be sure when this one actually did spawn in. Um, so she, she could have been wandering around there for a little bit. I hadn't been in that area in a while, so, you know. Fuck that tree in particular, by the way. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. oh, there we go. But yeah, you just come around when you want to mint mess with the spawns without dino wiping. And you just do this. Just kill things. Just open up the spawn, like, let new creatures come in. Yeah, that's why you don't... By the way, that right there is why you don't run with the Giga. Like, I got, like, ten feet and I'm already tired. It's like, yeah, they can go pretty fast, but not for long. Okay, we got an Andrew Sarkis up here. I'm gonna murder that thing. Also, uh, let me know if you want me to do a full video on mutations. I know everyone and their mother has done it, but I'd like to offer my take on it if that's what you guys would like. I mean, I, I wouldn't... It would be something separate. Like, it'd be in the tips and tricks thing that I said I wasn't going to do. But I actually do feel pretty comfortable talking about mutations, especially after this. There we go again. Oh, don't forget sometimes if you fall off your mount, or if your mount walks off a cliff, you can negate all fall damage by dismounting at just the right time. <clears throat> you know, don't be afraid to abuse that. Ark doesn't understand how gravity works, and uh, be sure to fully use that to your advantage. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, wow, disturbing lack of creatures in this area. Man, what the hell is going on around here? All right, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away and take us to their other spawn. Hopefully, while more creatures uh, come into this one. Now, it being single player, uh, that's a little bit of an issue because, um, yeah, spawned. Uh, oh my God, what these lag spikes, dude? They're less of a problem than they were, but man, they're annoying. There we go. There's a parasaur. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, real quick before we head over to that spawn area, I uh, I found this guy wandering around, and we still need more adrenal glands if we're gonna take on the savage acros. So, hey, 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 hey! I wanted the meat. Didn't have to go down that way. Also, there is uh, a level uh, 174 tech Anki right here. I want that, but that's not, that's a different video for a different day, you know. Uh, we've already tamed an Anki on camera, but I, I mean, that one looks really cool, so. I just wanted to show that, that's uh, a little something for the future here. We're here at the third and final area. This is the spot, or if I'm not mistaken, um, well, you should just go check out Syntex's video for yourself on that one. Um, but, uh, yeah, you'll know it when you see it because of the area made of hex, uh, made of, like, hexagonal pillar stones over there. The redwoods are, uh, let's see if I'm facing this way or to the left, and then to the right is some cliffs here. Uh, actual coordinates are, um, uh, that you can see right there on screen. Um, oh, also, you'll know you're in the right spot because you'll see, uh, you may see a giga in the giga spawn zone. Shocking, I know. Uh, well, it is for me. <laughs> Then again, I'm on single player, as I've said, and and I don't know if I've gone over exactly how that affects spawns, uh, but uh, it's not really important. What matters is that um, basically the game is on, let's save, let's uh, try and not kill the computer with uh, 
with uh, stuff to model in mode, so it'll so it'll render in only what it needs to, and it'll render in less creatures. And as you can see here, the Giga can actually wander quite far. This, by the way, is not an R Giga. This is a normal Giga, as you can see from the utter lack of any spots. Uh, there is some faint stripes on its tail, and that's about it. <clears throat> oh, that guy's, uh... Whoa there, are you going hard, Minty Fresh? Jesus. <laughs> right, I want to do something a bit more creative with this fight. So, uh, and I've got two Domination Rexes that need levels. So why don't we saw, why don't we kill two birds with one stone? But, you know, literally, because these things are birds. Watch, I'm about to, this gig is about to run over here and fuck my shit up before I even get a chance to do that. Oh, uh, if he does, that'd be pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so first I gotta throw out this guy, uh, and this guy, because I need to get their saddles, because I need to make more of them. Olvel. Probably should have thought of that earlier. Here. You can ride the Domination Rex without saddles, by the way. It's just, uh, since we're going up against Gigas, that's probably not a terribly good idea to, to not have a saddle. No, I don't want the Mantis. I want this. And yeah, I've been I've been doing some killing in this area to hopefully get these things to appear. Uh, you know, one did appear, so I'm like, all right, cool. Let's let's get on the let's get on the board here. Okay, and we're just gonna put all of that right into this. All right, we're actually gonna see how these things fare against a Giga. There's two of them, so it shouldn't be. The other thing is that get, that these things get a buff near uh, when near apex creatures and bosses, so that should also help us out quite a bit. Yep, as you can see, immune to the bleed, which takes away the Giga's primary advantage. Wow. Left click simulator, go! <laughs> yeah, he's starting to show blood. go now we're up to two of these I yeah think. so it's uh it's the dead of night uh but yeah i uh, was just heading back to do the same exact thing we did before and oh yeah yeah oh we got a lot of bears i do need to make a small correction after uh further research um it's not the mountain that they spawn on. It's like it that the Giga spawn on around here. We're back in the same location that we found the other one, the first one that we tamed. Uh, so roughly around this area here. Uh, kind of near Helm's Deep, but kind of not. Kind of also near the Redwoods, but kind of not. There's the coordinates. Um, yeah, I've just been clearing stuff. At oh! Well, I'll be damned. I, I gotta be real, that's the method that I was using here of just killing things, clearing the area out. It, it's the only one I know that is even remotely effective, but even that, I wasn't expecting it to work this fast. I was fully expecting for us to have to end the episode, but uh, guess not. All right, let's 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 do this. Wow. Either Lady Luck is finally smiling on me after 80-something episodes. <laughs> not 80, more like... I really been on the lookout for a Giga for about the last 30 or so. Um, and just nothing, man. Nothing. 
Okay, but that one is... What was level that? What level was that again? 90... Oh, boy. Okay, that's gonna be a bit tougher of a fight. Hmm. How to do it? I can attempt to engage him, but I gotta tell you, that... I don't like those odds. That... That is... That is a bad time to be had right there. Um... Let's see. I've got Hecate as well. Hmm. Can three Indominus Rexes do what needs to be done here? It's it's again worth noting that... Oh, where the hell did he go? Oh, you wandered off the cliff. Uh-oh. Okay, good. My house is that way. I thought it was about to fall onto my house, and I'm like, uh-oh. Volanosaurs! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that would result in a lot of dead Blonosaurs. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stay on my bat. Actually, nah. No, 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 no. We're going to help. But this is going to be really dicey regardless of the strategy that I use. Oh, boy. Am I going to have to lighten the footage? I might have to lighten the footage. Okay. And we have a new boss army. We have Hecate 2.0, ready to go. Oh god, I can't see a thing. Well, I can't see a thing, but you guys will be able to because I can brighten the footage here. Aw, oh, man. You got pretty colors. Like blue and purple or something. Wow, that's disappointing. I have mistaken a tree for a Giga. Hi, right, guys. Get him, boys. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and... I gotta be a little careful, because you can rage a wild Giga, but... I don't think he's gonna live long enough for that to happen. Nope. Get fucked. Who got the heart? You did! Woo! And hey, it's one of the new ones. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll level them up later. Just glad we got them their levels, so everybody's everybody's having a good time. Uh, alrighty. Well, that's... That took longer than I thought, or it took longer than I wanted it to take, but less time than I thought it was going to take. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just glad we're done with it, and I can't believe we actually got it all done in one episode. <laughs> all right. Uh, real quick before we end, we got some admin stuff. As mentioned in my previous videos, my schedule for videos will be changing. We will be doing, as of, as of now, and this is open to change as time goes on, we will be, I will be releasing videos on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, at least as far as this Let's Play is concerned. Um, in the coming month or two, I might start up a new little series to take, uh, take out, to take on some of those other days. It won't be a Let's Play, but it'll be like tips and tricks. You know, I made the first two episodes of that, but didn't like either one of them, so we'll see how we go from that. It might be the Dino Care Sheets thing I mentioned in, uh, I think it was either Megapithecus, Broodmother, or, um, hold on, or, uh, or the Monkey video, or Return to Monkey with, uh, Gigantopithecus. So, any, any stuff like that, because I can talk for hours about creatures in this game, and, and how they work, and creative ways that I've come up with you could use them, uh, even when they otherwise seem useless. And that's something I'd really like to do, and it's something I feel I can do, and I could just 
like, and I could use that and do some shorter videos, but that's going to take some additional planning and figuring out. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know if you, if you guys have any thoughts, let me know. It's, it's either going to be one or the other, at least to start with. But as I said, Monday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday and, uh, and Saturday, you will be getting, um, well, let's say Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and probably Saturday as well. I say probably because it depends on, like, you know, everything else that gets done and all that. Let's, let's fly home. Um, and just how the week goes, you know, and, and, and the reason why I have to do that is just stuff in my personal life. It's, you know, it's getting busy around this time of year as it does. Um, and, uh, you know, life, uh, real life requires my attention, so better take care of that. But, uh, yeah, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did, and I have to say, probably the most productive episode I've had in a hot minute. <laughs> uh, we got a lot done today, uh, and I got a lot done over the weekend, which is another reason why I wanted to start spacing out these videos, because it gives me more time to actually get everything done. Ah. Alrighty, that's going to do it for today. Uh, this has been TBT signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.